To get started with backend as a service push notifications for iOS, we need to go to our Apple developer account and make sure that we're all set up for push notifications. Go to the member center and log in. Once we've signed in, we'll go to the certificates, identifiers, and profiles page, and we'll go to the app ID page. This will show us the different app IDs that we've already set up, maybe or maybe not with push notification support included. But let's start from scratch and create a new app ID. So we'll click on the plus sign and define new app ID. So this will be my David I push app. We'll use the uh, ID prefix that's already selected for me. Next, we need to specify the explicit app ID. And this way, if we want any kind of unique provisioning or unique app services, we'll be able to associate this app ID with those. So let's, it says here we recommend using a reverse domain style string. Uh, it can be really any unique string. app, and we'll put a one on it in case we want to do multiple tests. We also want to make sure that we select any other services that we might need for our application. Since we want push notification, we'll click that checkbox and hit continue. And then it brings up the confirmation screen. It says confirm your app ID. There's the description. Uh, there's the identifier. We've got game center, in-app purchase, and push notification enabled. Let's hit submit. And now that the registration is complete. The next step we need to do is to create a certificate for the app. So let's select the app and we'll click the edit button. So we need to create a development SSL certificate for this push app. So down here at the bottom is the development SSL certificate. We can create one. So we'll click the create certificate button. Next, it tells us that we need to create a CSR or a certificate signing request. So I need to go and bring up my keychain. So it says within the keychain access. So we'll go under keychain access and bring up the certificate assistant, request a certificate from the certificate authority. So I enter the user email address for my Apple account, common name, and then I'll click the radio button, save to disk. We'll click continue. And then we need to save the certificate request. So we'll call this our David I push test one certificate. And so my certificate request has been created on the disk and we're done. Let's go back to the Apple developer program, hit continue. We can choose the CSR file, which was saved on our desktop. There it is. And then I'll click the generate and that will generate a certificate, download, and install it in our system. So here are my certificates ready. I can download, install it, and here's my certificate, Apple Development iOS Push Services, com.davidi push app one. And back on my Apple Developer page, under provisioning profiles, we can see the provision profiles we have, and we'll click the plus sign, and the provisioning profile that I need is the iOS app development profile. We'll hit continue. This is that ID, it's sitting right there. So that's the one I just created in the previous step. I'll hit continue. And then it gives me a list of certificates that I wish to use in this provisioning profile. So we'll select the all. And we'll select the devices. I've got my 4S and my iPad 4 click continue. We need to give this a profile name. So this is the David I push notification test number one. It says I have one certificate included. Here's the app ID, two devices included, my iPad 4 and my iPhone 4S. Click generate. And then now it says my provisioning profile is ready with push support. There's its name, its type development and the app ID and it expires a year from now. So we'll download this profile. And then here on my hard drive is that push notification mobile provision. It's a developer provisioning profile generated today. We'll double click. After double clicking, now in my organizer for Xcode, I can look and see that for my iPhone provisioning profiles, I have the David I push notification test profile. 
and also the previous developer iOS profile that I've been using for some time. And also for my iPad 4, I've got two provisioning profiles, my original one and the push notification test profile. So those are the steps you go through using your Apple developer program portal and going through and creating a provisioning profile for development that supports push notifications.